All right, guys, check it out. We got another story here. An ocean lies a few kilometers beneath Saturn's moon icy surface, okay? With eruptions of ice and water vapor and an ocean covered by an ice shell, Saturn's moon Enceladus is one of the most fascinating in the solar system, especially as interpretations of data provided by the Cassini spacecraft have been contradictory until now. An international team, including researchers from the laboratory de Plantology, well, I can't say the name of that place, that's huge, in Prague, and the Royal Observatory of Belgium recently proposed a new model that reconciles different data sets and shows that the icy shell at Enceladus' south pole may only be a few kilometers thick. This suggests that there's a strong heat source in the interior of Enceladus and additional factors supporting the possible emergence of life in its ocean. The study has just been published online on the website of Geophysical Research Letters. Initial interpretations of the data from Cassini flybys of Enceladus estimated that the thickness of the ice shell ranged from 30 to 40 kilometers at the South Pole to 60 kilometers at the equator. These models were unable to settle the question of whether or not its oceans extended beneath the entire ice shell. However, the discovery in 2015 of an oscillation in Enceladus' rotation, known as a libertarian, funny, right, which is linked to tidal effects, suggests that it has a global ocean and a much thinner ice shell than predicted. With a mean thickness of around 20 kilometers, nonetheless, this thickness appeared to be inconsistent with other gravity and topography data. In order to reconcile the different constraints, the researchers proposed a new model in which the top 200 meters of the ice shell acts like an elastic shell. According to the study, Enceladus is made up successfully of a rocky core with a radius of 185 kilometers and an internal ocean approximately 45 kilometers deep. Isolated from the surface by an ocean shell with a mean thickness of around 20 kilometers, except at the South Pole where it is thought to be less than 5 kilometers thick, in this model, the ocean beneath the ice makes up 40% of the total volume of the moon, while its salt content is estimated to be similar to that of Earth's oceans. It's really good news right there. The model, therefore, reinforces the idea that the strong heat production in Enceladus's deep interior that may power the hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, since complex organic molecules whose precise composition remain unknown have been detected in Enceladus's jets, these conditions appear to be favorable to the emergence of life. Man, that's crazy. The relic looks like Enceladus still has many secrets in store. Man, that's true, too. You gotta think about that. If they actually think that the oceans there could be heated from the inner core and that its salinity is the same as the Earth's salt salinity in the oceans, there could easily be life there. It's food for thought, guys. Think about it. <laughs>